Hello and welcome. In the last video, we talked about um, installing Python and Python Flask and Python PIP and uh, installing and activating um, a virtual environment for our uh, web pages and, and for our, um, our website. So, in this video, what I'd like to talk about is actually uh, implementing and installing a website so that we can look at it. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. So starting from here, like I said, we were talking about putting all of our uh, files and folders into into a virtual environment. So let me just do an ls for a list to list what um, what we have so far. All right, and as you can see, we have our our uh, website folder. So um, let's do a pip three space list. This is a global uh, uh, instance of uh, all the packages that we have installed with pip. Um, so we do a enter, and you'll see these are all the packages that are installed on my system. Um, I'm using Ubuntu server 20.04 now what we want to go ahead and do let's go ahead and clear the screen here and what we're going to do is go ahead and activate our environment for uh, our, for the website folder and if you will recall the way we did that was we ran the following command which was Python 3 space uh, flag M and then VN VNV and then the um, the folder name and now we have to activate it and to activate it we go source space and then website folder VIN and then we have to activate it press enter and as you can see the folder or project name is website it is a um, it is activated and it's in its own uh, environment now to deactivate it you just go ahead and type in deactivate and then just press enter and that'll take us out of the uh, the virtual environment but we're not going to do that so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, change to the uh, website directory Let's do a list again. Yeah, there it is. So we just do a CD, which uh, is a abbreviation for change directory, and then we put in the uh, the directory or folder or project we want to uh, change into, which is website. Then we press enter. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. Okay. So now, once we've uh, created that environment, we have some some folders here these are all required folders that are installed once you um, activate your uh, virtual environment so from here let's go ahead and create um, a website so what we want to do you can use whatever um, uh, uh, command line editor or whatever type of uh, editor or integrated development environment you want uh, I'm going to use the one that came with this uh, computer, or I'm sorry, I'm going to use the one that came with this uh, Ubuntu server system, which is Nano. Okay, and if you didn't know already, Flask is a application that you use from the command line. So uh, you just need an editor to go ahead and uh, configure and um, create your environments. So. What we're going to do is we're going to create a um, we're going to go ahead and create a Python application. All right, and so you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going as I said before, I'm going to use Nano to create it. And you can just call this you can call it whatever you want. And I'm calling mine myapp.py, and then I'm going to press enter okay so and then from here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our application so for uh, Linux we have to um, tell 
we have to tell our application or the, the uh, operating system what type of interpreter or uh, program we're going to be using for this. So we have to do a pound and a shebang forward slash and then USR space or slant EIN. And if you're on a Windows machine, you won't have to do this, but this is for most Unix and, and Linux machines. That's the interpreter that is going to be running this application, which is Python version 3. And now from here, what we want to do is we want to import a flask. So to import it, we just type in from flask import flask with a capital S. And now we want to type in app equals flask and then hyphen or parentheses underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then parentheses again. And what this does is this just tells um, Python to recognize that Flask is running this application and through this application name which we already named to be um, myapp.py okay and then we go on the next line and then now what we're going to do is we're going to create what is known as a decorator and that's just going to be with an at sign and then it's going to be app dot route and then parentheses and then we're going to use the root folder okay as um as where we're going to put the um the uh web the web page okay and that now from here what we're going to do is we're going to create a function for the web page and that's going to be with define space and it's going to be home you can name the function whatever you like to name it I'm naming mine home because it's going to be the first website and then go to the next line and then from here you want to use four, two to four spaces and then from here we're going to just go ahead and uh, type in what we want on this web page so we're going to type in return p and then we're going to use um, an HTML uh, tag which is a P for a paragraph and then we're going to type in this is my home page and then we're going to close that P tag okay oh and I forgot to put in the quotes you got to put in the quotes right Alright, and that's what we're going to do for, for that. That's going to be our home page or our index page. And then we're going to go ahead and complete it out. We're going to use a uh, conditional statement. And this is going to be if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal. Well, wait a minute. Let me do a space oops okay yeah and then equals equals space and then quotes underscore underscore main and I'll explain this in just a minute after I finish typing it and then we got that okay and then one two three four and then we're going to run the app application, which is app.run run. Okay, now let's explain this last one here. Or again, this is this is just saying that we're using a, the Python interpreter to run this application. And then from here, we did an import. We import it from Flask the uh, application known as Flask. 
and then this right here is a variable that says run this application through the um, th um, through Flask by the uh, name of the application which is my app and then from there we have what is known as a decorator and the decorator it um, it tells the, the the web server where the um, where the web page is going to be uh, be at which for this one is going to be in the root folder and then we created a function with the uh, name home and then after that in the function we put in the return this is my home page uh, and then this right here this is a conditional statement that says if the name of the application which is my app is equal to main then run the application all right so that's how you can run the application so it's not going to work for me to run this application but let me show you and let me show you why so I'm just going to go ahead and um, save this and then I'm going to exit out okay now the application needs to be let's do a ls okay there's our application right there okay and now we're going to go ahead and run this application and to run it you don't type in Python three space and then the application name oh hold on one second I need to um, because I'm working in a, a Linux environment um, by default none of the applications are executable to run so what I need to do is I need to change this to make it executable so that it can run and I do that by using the command change mod space and then I wanna that's how you can make it ex executable and then you just type in the application you want to be executable all right now we clear the screen and now as you can see it has changed colors and usually on most systems when it changes colors to green that means it is ready to be executed and so now for Python to run the Python server we type in Python 3 space and then the application which is my app and then we press enter all right now and this shows right here that the, um, the um, Python uh, web server loaded up my app okay and it says right here the environment is production but it's actually not this is a development uh, web server and that's okay that's not a problem debug is off we'll go ahead and change that in a little bit and this is the website that is running or this is the uh, this is the um, web address or IP address that is running under now here's the reason why it won't work it's because I have a static IP and a static internal IP and mine begins with 192.168.0 dot 50 or I'm sorry dot 1 dot 50 and then no matter what it's gonna um, it's gonna default to uh, port 5000 okay but mine isn't gonna work because it's not at that um, I don't have it configured to run off of that port or I'm sorry I don't have it configured to run off of that port or that IP address I just want to show you that so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stop the web server and we're going to go ahead and fix that. So we're going to clear the screen, do an LS, and then we're going to do a nano, my app again. We're going to go into it. Then we're going to come down here. Under normal circumstances, if you have a Windows machine, this would work just the way it is, okay? Because most, most people, they don't have their uh, IP address set to uh, static. They have it set to uh, dynamic. Mine is set to static, so it won't work like that. So what I have to do is I have to uh, do a configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in debug, and that's going to be equal to true. And then we're going to put in the host that we want um, 
that we want the the um, the web server to run off of and that's going to be again 192.168.1.50 oh I got to put those in quotes okay oops and then one last thing it is set to run off of port 5000 and that's good with me if it does not run off of port 5000 on your system then you'll need to check your firewall and see if it's closed or doesn't have that port open or you might need to forward it okay but that's all we'll need right there we'll go ahead and save that then we'll exit out of that and now we'll go ahead and run it again with the command Python 3 and in my app press enter okay now that should work and we're gonna go ahead and copy that address and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the browser and then we're gonna go ahead and put in that IP address and there we go we have it right there so that's how it's just as simple as that that's how you go ahead and start creating uh, a web page with flask um, I'll go ahead and have this uh, this um, I'll go ahead and have the um, the, uh, the files for this and all the code into the uh, into the description um, that's how you make a, a simple uh, web address or a website. Um, in our next video, we'll go ahead and uh, do further advanced things with uh, Flask, including adding more websites and uh, adding some uh, CSS and uh, things like that. So, hope you come back. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. And you have a good day.